With your local and area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. Darren Duran Harrison, age 33 of Nacogdoches, is being held in the Nacogdoches jail after being arrested yesterday on a host of charges. In total, his bail has been set at $37,500. He was arrested after fighting with police officers, was tased, and continued to fight. Hostess is recalling its peppermint Twinkies due to a possible salmonella contamination. No illnesses have been reported as of yet. Twinkie lovers everywhere lament the loss of their minty treat. The Shelby County VFW Post 8904 and the Auxiliary are taking nominations for Teachers of the Year. Local VFW Post Quartermaster Larry Hume explains the details. Uh, yeah, each, each year the Veterans of Foreign Wars uh, honors uh, teachers in grades uh, K-5, through 6-8, uh, through eight, and 9-12. through 12. Those three, those three categories, and anyone can nominate a teacher that they think is worthy, except the teacher themselves or, or relative. And the first thing they have to do is, in 350 words or less, tell us why they feel their nominee is deserving of the award. You know, fill out the uh, application form and get it to uh, BFW Post 8904 by or myself by February the 15th, 2017. And from here, we will submit our nominees to the state, and the state will make their selections and, and uh, in turn. International. For help on entering your nominations, contact Larry Hume at 936-598-2976. The Timson Area Chamber of Commerce is going to have their membership banquet next week on Thursday, January the 19th at 5.30 p.m. C. Wayne Mitchell, president of the Nacogdoches County Chamber of Commerce, will give a speech about the changing nature of Chambers of Commerce. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the changing world of Chambers of Commerce. Uh, I've had the privilege of working with Chambers uh, uh, for the past uh, 30 years in different capacities, and uh, certainly the business has changed and has changed dramatically in the last few years. And uh, we'll spend some time talking about the necessity of making sure that your chambers are relevant to the communities and the and the business needs and uh, the importance of, uh, of being involved. The bowl water notice has been lifted for the Denning Rural Water Supply. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade will be held next Monday, January the 16th at 4 p.m. on the downtown Center City Square. All participants must line up in the middle of the square starting at 3.30 p.m. And in your rest report this morning in Shelby County, Rio's Christian age 24 of center driving while intoxicated no driver's license jameson swindle age 28 of center possession of marijuana dustin hearn age 21 of center theft kelly frazier age 29 of timpson failed to identify a fugitive and false information possession of a controlled substance brandy wright age 36 theft and in St. Augustine County, Ricky D. Medor, Motion for Enforcement of Child Support, and Andrew L. McDaniel, Burglary of a Building. In your obituaries, 80-year-old Reverend Dr. Clois Rogers of St. Augustine passed away Saturday the 7th at his residence. His service will be held this Saturday the 14th at 11 a.m. at the Reed Chapel Baptist Church with Reverend James A. Irving as the eulogist and Reverend Cedric Gray Sr. officiating. Interment will follow at the St. Luke Cemetery in St. Augustine. Visitation will take place today from 12 to 4 at the Sid Roberts Funeral Home. Second visitation will take place 6 to 8 p.m. at the Mount Zion Baptist Church today in St. Augustine. And Alice Moss, age 70 of Center, passed away Monday, January the 9th, at her residence. Her wishes were to be cremated. Memorial service will take place at 2 p.m. on January the 21st at the Watson Sons Funeral Home. This has been your local and area news.